Welcome back to Crafts with Miss Jerry. Today I will show you how to make a paper bag star. It's a way to make a great decoration for your home or for your next party. For supplies you will need brown paper lunch bags or decorative paper bags, yarn or string, markers, or you could use paint, glue sticks or craft glue, a hole punch and scissors. Let's get started. You will need eight of the brown paper lunch bags if they're larger, seven if they're smaller. And when you get it all put together, and if it doesn't close, you'll need to add an extra one. We started decorating our bags. We decorated only the sides of the bags. We flattened down the sides. We used markers to create a lot of different designs, geometric or we made one that looked like a watermelon, but you can do any design and it might look also interesting painted too. When you have your bags decorated, now we'll start gluing the bags and you're going to glue in the shape of an upside down T with the bottom of the bag part facing up. So I glued a line at the very bottom of the bag and then glued up on the bag about a two inch strip. So you're gluing the shape of a T, an upside down T. You'll take your next bag and place it on top of the first bag and you'll repeat till you and glue till you get all the bags on top of each other in one pile. Once your paper bags are dried and glued together, you can expand your bags into the shape of a circle fan but we realized at this point we needed one more bag to complete it so that would be a total of eight bags we glued the last bag on and expanded it to complete a circle we decided to add a piece of tape to the closure and then use a hole punch to create a hole. And that's where our string will be. And we tied the string on and now we have a paper bag star. Show you one more time how to put your paper bag star together. With the bottom of your paper bag facing up, Glue a upside down T with a two inch strip of glue going down the center and a strip of glue on the very bottom and repeat this until you get a complete pile of bags. For my paper bag star, I decided I would like to have points. So I took the scissors and clipped off the corners of my bags. Then I cut notches into the sides. Now it's time to expand it and gently pull it open and until it creates a circle. And I used eight bags to create this paper bag star. Gently press the ends together so they are secure and your star is ready for a piece of yarn to be hung. Here's my finished star. It looks wonderful. Here's another star I made out of the other decorative paper bags. I used seven bags to create this star. I used the hole punch in the sides of the bag so you can see the light coming through it and a few more cut angles in the top. 
It was a lot of fun creating these paper bag stars. Sophia really enjoyed making hers and can't wait to hang it up in her bedroom. I can't wait to hang mine up on my sun porch. I think they'll be the perfect decoration for the summer. Thank you for watching Crafts with Miss Jerry.